Hi everyone, this is a Luno tutorial. Um, for the purpose of this video, I'll be using my phone and I will be showing you how to actually use your phone. It could be your iPhone or your Android phone and we will be using the Luno app. Okay, so I'm going to download the Luno app right now from my um, Play Store. So this is my Play Store. And I will type in Luno. And as you can see, that is Luno Bitcoin wallet. So that's what I want. And I will install it to my phone right now. Okay. It appears I haven't got enough space on my phone, so I'm going to delete some apps that I don't necessarily need right now. Okay, let's continue. I've deleted some apps. So that might be your situation as well when downloading the Luno app, um, just clear off some apps that you don't use. So I hope I have enough space for the Luno app right now. Is it downloading? So I'm not sure if this is downloading, I'm just going to install it again. Mm. So this Luna app is taking its time. It's not normally this long. It's actually very fast. I had the Luna app on my phone before I decided to delete it. Yes, it's 100% now. Okay, so 100% verified and it's installing right now. Okay, so I'm going to open the app. Mm -hmm. And this is the Luno app. This is how it will look like. So because I don't yet, um, I'm signing up afresh. I'm, go I'm not going to use the sign in option. Um, if you already have a signed in account, then you can sign in. Um, but this is a fresh account. So I am going to use sign up. Okay. So the Luno app is actually used to um, store your Bitcoins or Ethereum. Um, cryptocurrencies, and you can also store um, your country currency as well. But from the Luna app, as you can see, I need to sign in with an email address. So I am going to put in um, an email address. Sorry about that. I'm trying to type in my email address. Okay. 
Okay. All right, it asks for an option to auto complete email address, but I don't want that um, because I won't be using this email address after this tutorial. Um, I don't want it to auto complete. But if it's your personal phone and it's your personal Luno account, you can auto complete um, as well. Um, so I'm going to choose a password. So make sure that your password is, is strong. for the purpose of this account, you need to make sure that it is eight characters, long, one uppercase, one lowercase, and at least one number. You can also use maybe a unique um, character as well. Okay, so I am going to choose um, a password um, right now. Okay, so I've chosen a password and I am going to sign up. Okay, so I've been asked to confirm my email. So that means I need to go to my email account and um, confirm that I actually signed up for the Luno wallet. So I'm going to switch to my email right now. So I used a Gmail and let's see what Gmail I used. It might take a while for the email and it has come in. So you can see Luno confirm your email address. So I'm going to open that email now. And as you can see, I've received an email um, from Luno and it says I should confirm um, clicking the button below. So because it's uh, on the phone, I can't see a button, but at least I can see confirm email address and I'm going to click that. So as you can see, uh, it takes me straight back to Luno again because I've confirmed my email. And then I click next. Please confirm that you are not a robot. Confirm. And it's asking me for the password that I actually put in. Okay. So I've been asked to put in a four digit code that was sent to my email address. So I'm going to go back to my email address. It says, please enter the four digit code that was sent to, and it's put my email address there. So if I go back to my email address, and that's exactly what you would need to do as well. So this is my email, and I'm waiting to see the, um, code that has been sent to me. Sometimes it might take a while, but it doesn't normally take time. It will be in your email almost immediately. I think due to the internet reception,
I'm not able to see this email right now. Okay, this is the first time I'm doing a recording using my phone. And I think the bars the reception is very poor. So I'm just walking around trying to get some bars on my phone. I've got two bars, maybe one more will do. Still waiting for the email address to come in. Okay, so as you can see now, the email has come in. So that code is 7827. And I'm going to switch over to my Luno. So apparently I might need to sign in again. Okay, well, what is the code? I thought I memorized it. Okay, 7827, 7827. Here we go, 7827. Okay, and it's asking me to create a pin. So I'm just going to put 000. zero, zero. Um, maybe not. Oh, okay, so I've made a mistake now. Okay, so I've confirmed the pin number. So here we are um, inside the Luno wallets. Okay, so what you want to do now is you want to at least know where to go. This is what you should see when you get into your Luno wallet, your, your Luno app on your phone. So you see the three buttons at the top left corner, that gives you the drop down menu for everything that is inside your Luno wallet. You have home, you can actually open the wallets. For now, I have a BTC wallet, that means a Bitcoin wallet. I can go back to the menu. There is transactions. So when I start sending Bitcoins, receiving Bitcoins, there will be transactions um history in this place there are promotions and uh lunum i want to share with you some of the promotions going on so i haven't got anything there yet so i want to take you to settings so in settings that's the next important thing you need to do you need to actually fill all your details correctly it will ask you for your name put in your correct name that as it is on your bank card, your as it is on your passport, as it is on your driving license or ID card. Okay, so it says first name first. So I, I should put in first name only there and put in my last name there and it says save. So my email is saved. I need to put in my phone number. So now I can't put in my phone number, funny, because I've already used my phone number to sign up my own account and i don't want to just make up any number so i can't put that phone number there however it's important that you you know that asking for your phone number is for your own good so that whenever you anybody signs up into your luno account you will receive an alert asking you to provide mm -hmm. uh asking you to provide maybe like a a code and that person does not have your phone so they can't log into your account okay mm -hmm. um so it's important that you give them the your best 
mobile number, not a mobile number to your daughter or to your son. Okay. Um, and some people do access this information safe, um, the information they are putting on there, because they might ask you for sensitive things like your passport number, your BVN number if you're in Nigeria. Um, it could ask you for sensitive things, but that's like opening a bank account. So they are following the rules um, for financial institutions. So you see, it's still asking me for my mobile number, um, but I'm going to ignore that because I don't want to duplicate my mobile number. A very important place I want you to look at is the verification level. If that doesn't come up in um, your wallet, if you're in another country, um, then that might mean that Luno is not yet uh, based in your country, or they don't actually require verification levels, but you need to look at it properly. Um, it would expect that you verify. So unfortunately, I can't verify anything because I have refused to put in my mobile number. But once you click on verification level, what it would um, let you do is to start providing proof of your ID, proof of your address. Um, proof of your ID would be like a passport um, or a driving license or your national ID card and that would help you to get to level one. Um, but don't leave, don't verify your account if you're in the UK for at just level one, even anywhere in the world, at least get to level two. So level two might be asking you for a selfie and for a bank statement or um, a gas bill, electricity bill, you know, anything to identify that you actually live in that country and in the address that you say you, are, you live. So pop those information in there. And you can go ahead and also, if you put a mobile number there, then please go ahead and do your two-factor authentication. This might be a Google authentication, or it could be an SMS authentication, which means anytime that you want to sign into your account, it will send your mobile number a code that you have to log in before you can actually log in. It's just um, so that the security to your Luno account is tight enough, nobody can just hack in. It's like somebody hacking into your bank account and taking all your money, okay? So that's that about verifications. Once you do all that um, um, and you get, a, you get a confirmation or notification that you have been verified up to level one or level two or level three, um, then you can move on to do any other thing like actually buying bitcoins. So for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, many of us want to actually send money to Bitworld and sign up um, to a package or invest your money. Or you might even want to send um, Bitcoin to someone else. You just need to go to send. But as you can see, I haven't actually verified my account, um, but there are three ways to send. Luno offers three ways to send digital currency. So if I click next, you can send for free, send Bitcoin to any email address or mobile number. It's free and instant as it does not use the blockchain network. So if I want to send, um, if my friend is who has a Luno account, it has to be a Luno account if it's going to be for free, sends me their email address that they use to register on Luno. All I need to do is to put in that email address and they will receive the Bitcoin or you can send using the blockchain. So yeah, in this case yeah. now, you need to actually provide, um, that person needs to provide you, or the company needs to provide you with their blockchain address. Now this is a long mixture of numbers, sometimes 23 and above, mixture of letters and numbers, and you would um, be given that address and you need to copy it and paste it um, here. So if you're given a long code, you know, serial numbers of alphabets and numbers, um, then you copy and paste and make sure you copy rightly and put it here. If the person has a Luno account, you can use the mobile number they used to register their Luno account or their email address, or they send you the long um, Bitcoin address. So as for Bitworld members, you would have a long, Bitcoin address to paste here. Once you paste it there and you click um, next, and then it will ask you to put in the Bitcoin amount. 
So you will need to put in the Bitcoin amount. You'll copy it from your Bitworld invoice. And some, because bit, one Bitcoin is at the moment now like um, 6,000 plus or 7,000 plus dollars as of today. Um, so you would need to copy the fraction of a Bitcoin. So if you're doing maybe like $500, you will have like 0, 0.00 something, uh, four to, to, to the power of maybe uh, four decimals or, or six decimals. And then you copy and paste it there and be sure that you copied right and then you click send. If you want to actually buy Bitcoin, well, as you can see, it says before you can buy Bitcoin, you must verify your identity. So I haven't verified this account, that's why I can't buy Bitcoin. But what it means is that how do you want to buy the Bitcoin? Do you want to um, buy using your credit card or your debit card, you know, or from your bank account? It really depends. So it will give you the options by which you can actually buy Bitcoins. If you have money in an existing wallet on your Lulu account, maybe your Euro wallet as for UK, your Nigerian wallet or your ZAR wallet in South Africa, it can actually give you the option to buy Bitcoins with the existing currency in another wallet. And you can just go ahead and follow the instructions and complete the transaction. You can also receive money. So for those of you wondering, how do I actually get my money from Bitworld? You would um, go to your Bitworld account, click withdrawal. It will ask you for your Bitcoin wallet address, which is your Luno wallet address. So you would have to create an address here. And for me to create an address, I have to click that button create. I can label it. So you can cre create many addresses. Maybe whenever you want to receive money from Bitworld, you only use a particular address. So you can put Bitworld as the, um, you can put Bitworld as the, as the address label. And if you, so I'll just say create, so as you can see, this is the address that anytime I want to receive money from Bitworld. And I just, if I click these two squares here, it will copy to my clipboard and I can paste it in Bitworld where it says withdrawal and the money will be sent to this account. Maybe I usually get paid by Bitcoin uh, with Bitcoin from another company or a friend. I can create another address and every time I receive money, I want to receive money from there, I always send them. So when I look at my transactions, I will just see, you know, the different monies I've received. And you might be wondering, okay, you need to withdraw the money in your Luno account and you need to send it to your bank account, just click on withdraw money. Now, as you can see, I haven't verified my account, but if I have, it will allow me to attach or, yeah, that's the right word, to attach my own bank details to it. So once you click withdraw, um, that means you want to withdraw your Bitcoin from your Luno account and it will ask you for your bank details. Feed it in, make sure they are correct. It will be asking you maybe, it depends on from country to country, but in the UK, it asks you for your IBAN number, right? Um, so you will get that on your bank statement. And once you do that, um, it doesn't take more than maybe 24 hours to 48 hours, the money will be in your bank. Uh, Account. So I have actually done a tutorial on how to withdraw your money from Bitworld to your Bitcoin wallet and then to your bank account. So you can actually go back to that. So this is just a, um, a simple tutorial on how to actually make use of the Luno app. It's very, very easy to use. I find it very simple. And if it's applicable to you in the country where you are, please take your time um, and download the app. If you want to learn anything about the app, there is so much that you can learn. Identification, identity verification, they, they tell you um, different things that you need to know. How do I verify my identity? You can see what are the different levels of, you know, of verification. So they explain um, a lot. Why do you need to verify my identity? So anything you're actually looking for, if you go to the learn more, you will find the information there. So I hope that you find this uh, Luna tutorial 
um, helpful. Mm -hmm. And this is from Abiodun Oluok. Thank you very much for listening. Okay.